Hey guys, in this video, we have seven no interview work from home jobs that you can get ASAP because these are actual job listings instead of these jobs where they're pretty much always hiring. They're always adding to a talent pool. I found a few different websites where you can find no interview work from home jobs where you can apply for specific listings, which means they are active, which means they have a demand for that particular position at that time. So these should help you get something more quickly or be able to find something that maybe is more consistent and allows you to start right away and have more work that's more consistent than something that's just always hiring or always adding to talent pools. So the first website to check out is study.com. I've mentioned them a few times in the past, but they have a page here for contractors where you have flexible hours. You can work wherever and whenever you want completely online. You have reliable payments twice a month and a supportive staff to help you if needed. So if you look at their listings here, they have a lot of different jobs available and they have different countries throughout the world. For instance, you'll see some like the United States and the Philippines. You'll see some that say multiple countries and then the rest of them will usually say just remote, which I think, but we, I think that's usually just pretty much anywhere worldwide. Now you have all sorts of jobs here. So instead of me focusing on just one particular job, it's more about this particular website and all the different listings they have right now. So as far as no interview work from home companies, this one's probably one of the ones with the most listings right now. Now, if you want to do say, you can be like a question writer. So this is like an educational website. Um, they have content editors, for instance, that's one that you can a lot of times find pretty often here. This one, you would basically work from a pool of available academic content, proofread and edit academic content, articulate what edits you make and why if feedback is needed for the academic content you work on. This one, you know, we've already been over the pay. This one, you can work from anywhere, anytime, completely online. And then what they're looking for, you have experience copy editing content, you know SEO a little bit, and that's about it. You have obviously a good grasp of the English language. They also have things like sales development reps as well. They have a few of these available right now. This is one of the very few jobs where it's a sales development rep at a company that typically hires without a typical interview. And here, remote contracted, of course. And basically you would help sell um, their educational courses and their online education platforms. So here you would nurture new outbound marketing leads by educating and developing prospects, prospects, prospect into target accounts generated by a variety of outside sources, follow up on inbound marketing leads as well and things like that. Now this one you do need to have one plus years of successful experience in telephone prospecting, preferably in ed tech or something similar. Good communication skills, of course, and uh, demonstrated success in prospecting, maybe experience with CRM applications, but that's not necessarily required. Uh, bachelor's degree is um, something that you could have, but it's not necessarily required. Now they mentioned pay is around $15 per hour, but this is a sales development rep position. Pretty much every single sales development rep job I've ever seen has some sort of performance-based incentives. So I do believe you can earn more than that and you will probably get some sort of commission to go along with that. So. Those are just a few of the jobs you can find here right now. Obviously, there are many different ones available, and some of them pay you via PayPal as well if you're looking for something that pays you via PayPal. As far as what it's like to work at study.com, they have three out of five stars. 42% recommend working here to a friend. And as far as the pay here on average, you can look at the individual job title that you're interested in if they have a listing for it right now. Uh, for instance, a content writer is one that you should be able to find right now or things that are at least very similar to that, $26 an hour. I believe I did see a lesson writer on there. You also have just generally writing jobs paying around $32 per hour. You can also just look for contractor or freelancer as well, which usually average around $30 per hour. Another company that has no interview work from home job listings is Omni Interactions. This one is mostly going to be customer support jobs. You do also get to set your own schedule here as well as you do with many no interview jobs, but they actually have listings. So right now they have a need for Spanish bilingual customer service reps. They also have some other Spanish work from home customer service reps. 
I believe that's Spanish only. That's why they're different different listings. And then you have the work from home customer service rep, which should be English only. So you have three different ones available. Now, when you click on one of these, um, sometimes you'll even see, by the way, some like these where you can get paid in other countries. Like I, I know I've seen Philippines here, for instance, but not right now. They don't have that specific job available right now, but they do have listings that come and go. That's kind of the whole point of this video. But for this one, you're an independent contractor. You're going to do customer service over the phone, over chat, working tickets, outbound calls, etc. So pretty much all the different ways outside of maybe like social media. Now, as far as the schedule, flexible work schedule options available. Majority of work hours are during weekdays and daytime. So typical working hours. Now, most of the jobs that I've seen here do pay between, you know, 14 and $20 per hour. And they tell you that right up front. Most of the other jobs that you look at, even the bilingual ones will have very similar pay. Sometimes bilingual, you might make an extra dollar per hour or two, but um, for the most part, you make up to $20 per hour at Omni Interactions. And as far as requirements here, one thing I want to mention, I have actually sat by somebody who applied at Omni Interactions on their laptop. I was there in person and watched them do this. So they actually applied and they had no customer service experience outside of being like a waiter or a waitress. So this is a company that seems to be pretty flexible about what they consider experience that's related to this. And also they did not have to go through an interview when I watched them apply. They just had to take a few little tests that basically make sure that you are decent at using a computer, opening and closing applications, downloading files, and having at least a 20 word per minute typing speed. But outside of that, not a whole lot as far as requirements. Now, they do want you to have good communication skills, um, a track record, again, of customer service or delivering some sort of customer care. Again, I saw somebody who did this basically who had worked in the food industry at a restaurant, and that was pretty much acceptable. Outside of that, as far as technology and equipment, you don't need a whole lot. You may need a headset or some sort of microphone, but then you can do you know internet with a minimum of 10 mbps not too hard to meet that especially if you're in the us and then of course you also have spacex as an option they have starlink internet starlink is available in many parts of the world now so if you are kind of out away from the city you might be able to get that and be able to work some of these jobs and you know they can more than adequately meet the 10 mbps download speed so you can check Omni Interactions right now. 3.6 out of 5 stars, 68% recommend working here to a friend. And we've already been over the pay. It's going to be around $20 per hour. Next, we have dailytranscription.com. This is one of the very few transcription companies that I've seen that actually has listings. Now, as far as what they have available, they actually have quite a few different options right now. So it's a good time to be looking at their website. They have general transcription, for instance, which is available in the US, UK, and New Zealand, as well as Canada. You do need to be an English speaker. And you know, with any transcription job, you're essentially going to listen to some sort of audio or video file and type what's being said. You're gonna label the speakers if it's some sort of interview. And that's essentially the job. There's a bunch of different levels to this. There's different types as well. Like for instance, if you did medical or legal, that's usually higher paying than something that's just basic. But you also have other options here as well. But this is one of the few that actually has listings, so you can apply for something that's more active. But they do require a 50 word per minute typing speed. If you do have a 50 word per minute typing speed, great. If you don't, you can go to typingtest.com to, to improve that. Strong listening and typing abilities. Outside of that, this is all very, ba you know, very basic in terms of what they require. Um, they may give you some constructive criticism. You need to be okay with that as well. 10 to 30 hours uh, per week. Experience level one to two years. Independent contractor. And the pay here, I'm not really sure what this would be. Usually a transcription company tells you per audio hour of material. But this one, it looks like they go by page, I'm guessing, is what that P stands for. But we can look at some uh, reviews here in a little bit that'll tell you, you know, what people made on an hourly basis on average. So you don't need to worry too much about that. But they also have an AI editor available. So with this one, you would need, you know, good listening and typing skills to edit AI generated transcripts. So it's a little different. Instead of manually typing everything yourself, you're going to edit an AI transcript which will be automatically generated. 
but sometimes they still need a human touch to help. This has pretty much the same pay, hours, and experience level required. You also have a medical transcriptionist, which is also in, available in the same countries. Most of these are all the same countries, US, Canada, UK, and New Zealand. Same word per minute typing speed, pretty much the same relevant skills. This is only up to 20 hours per week though, and they do want a little more experience. And does it, it does seem that this one pays a little bit better. As I told you before, medical transcription usually pays a little bit more. The last one I'm gonna cover here, just so I don't you know, go too long on time with this particular company, they have subtitling captioning. So that's a little bit different. Usually you're going to focus on videos for this kind of stuff. You're gonna basically uh, transcribe something and make sure that the text pops up on the video as it's being spoken. So if you've ever, say, watched a Netflix movie and you put the subtitles on, you'll notice that the subtitles come up as they're being spoken in the movie. It's very similar to something like that. You would be the one who creates those. This one's up to 10 hours a week, two to three years experience and uh, pretty similar pay. But as far as what's it's like to work here, they have pretty solid reviews. 3.7 out of 5 stars, 51% recommend working here to a friend. Uh, salary wise here, you can look at some averages in terms of hourly pay because most of these you kind of set your own hours or work part time. You are looking at, looks like 22 an hour, pretty, which seems to be pretty standard for a basic transcription job. Some of these again are gonna, are gonna pay more if you go for like medical, I don't see a medical specific transcriptionist job on here. You have medical records coordinator transcription, which I think I don't know if that's exactly the same because typically the medical transcriptionist jobs on the listings pay more. If you look at this compared to the others, which were you know quite a bit lower in terms of pay, so you know I believe you could make more than twenty-six dollars per hour or twenty-three dollars an hour because of the the breakdown of pay if you compare it on the website and the different listings on there. But if you start at 22 an hour and you kind of scale it based on the difference between say, you know, like an AI editor versus a medical transcriptionist, you can kind of guess, you know, maybe add a percentage to that and you might figure out about how much you could make. But I'd say about 20 to $30 per hour. Next, we have a company called AudioB. Now, AudioB.com is a place where you usually have a, a bunch of different listings of like freelance and uh, no interview type jobs. One of the most common ones that you find here is translation jobs. So what they do, they actually kind of import job listings from Upwork and then when you click to apply, it just takes you you know, straight to the page on Upwork. So you may need an Upwork account. They do have other companies that are listed on here as well, but mainly this is a place where like if you look at Audio B, they have different company listings here and then you go to browse more jobs and they say they have 8,400 plus. The only thing about them, they don't really have a lot of like ways to narrow down your search very well unless you search specifically for a particular job. So I would like to see them maybe add a few features here, but many of these are worldwide. And you'll also find that um, when you, again, click on one of these, like let's say you looked at this Japanese English translation job, you know, it'll tell you a little bit about what you're doing, maybe give you some examples of what they're looking for. And then when you click apply, it'll take you to Upwork. So it's not trying to scam you or anything like that or get you to apply on some random Google form or anything like that where you need to be very careful with some of these listing sites. This one, they actually take you directly to where the official website is, which is a good thing. Uh, I think that shows some legitimacy. But if you like translation jobs and you don't want to interview, look at this, look at how many listings are on here. I mean, there's just a ridiculous amount of translation jobs available right now that you can find here. Next, you have DataForce, which is actually by TransPerfect. So if you wanted to look up reviews, you would want to look up TransPerfect, which I'll get to in a second. But DataForce is a place where you find all sorts of AI and data-related jobs. So when you're looking for these types of jobs, you wanna usually narrow down to remote unless you're okay with working in person, but they're gonna be scattered all over the world, so it might not be the best way to do things. But if you wanna look at remote jobs, they have data annotator, transcription jobs, quality assurance, they have all sorts of different things on here. So audio data collector, some of these like an audio data collector, a lot of times are more like a one-off job um, where you would basically you know, submit some sort of audio and it's basically something that is probably not going to be a constant job. Um, basically, this one says that it spans across three days. But if you want something a little more consistent, you know, you could be like 
maybe someone who's a risk you know that one's in person as a receptionist i don't know why that's in the remote section when i put uh i believe i put remote i guess not i guess it resets when you change the listings and you click the back the back button but when you look here for the remote jobs here you have all sorts of different things related to ai and data so if you wanted to be say like a content creator you could do that a data contributor you can do quality assurance you can do a lot of different things so some of these are most of these are going to be either part-time or only span for like a week or something like that or just a few days so it's a great place for like a side hustle um, but they have actual listings these are all real listings and these change over time so you know that these are actually active when you look at them so for instance if you wanted to be like a data annotator they would tell you like start date asap they'll tell you how long it lasts this one is actually 40 hours a week so if you needed something like temporary while you're still looking for a a more permanent job this could be something you do three to five weeks start asap and you would be a data annotator with this one they want you to be fluent in french but obviously they have different ver versions of this job as well um, and you will help improve artificial intelligence and technology so with all of these like this one you will focus on speech or text recognition input methods keyboard swipe technology or other areas you will create written copies of live speech or dictated audio identify and label the properties of what you just transcribe categorize provided data into different criteria and follow provided company guidelines input the data and information so you do have some data entry related jobs like this as well and usually you do not have a lot in terms of requirements for experience or anything like that as you can see they tell you right here no previous experience or training in the field is required we will teach you all that you need to know now as far as what it's like to work at transperfect as far as pay goes at this company you can scroll down here and look for hourly pay again this is one you would mostly want to focus on part-time and you know like side hustles this is not one you would usually do for a really long period of time or full time or anything like that now translators which is one pretty common one or one that's pretty much on par as far as what other jobs they have 26 dollars an hour for that one they also have like a transcriptionist around 22 an hour they have freelance translator around 26 an hour but the, a lot of the jobs you search on here i didn't find a lot of the specific job titles that are available right now but usually the ones that I found that are similar or that have matched past listings are around the lower to mid 20s. Next, we have a company called Appen. Appen is another company where they have a lot of AI training and AI research related jobs, data related jobs, things you can do with usually not having to be on the phone, usually no experience required and they do hire all over the world. They have quite a few listings available right now, but they do have separate listings for each company for the most part, or for each country for the most part. So you might want to narrow things down based on you know where you are located. Like for instance, if I wanted to look at the United States, you could narrow things down to, looks like they have speech collection available for a couple different options. And these are more like project based as you can see. So this one, for instance, you would complete certain recordings and submit them and basically you get paid based on each project instead of a per hour basis now if you look at all of them and you want to look at say remote only and you go to say like you could do social media search evaluation linguistic data collection lots of different things they have mystery shopping jobs which are typically done if they're remote usually you would do them over the phone otherwise you usually go in person but you would basically just gather data on different small businesses um, they have other types of what they call gig guru type jobs speech collection tasks which, which are one-off task type jobs like i showed you at um, companies like data force you also have speech recording so you train ai sometimes by speaking in you know a certain language or in a certain accent and it helps ai learn to generate better voices it's another thing you can train ai to do with jobs here you have audio transcription specialist search engine evaluator those are usually pretty popular type jobs and you also have social media evaluators which is one of the more common ones they have available right now so if you want to do anything like that you can check the listings here at 
appin.com. They have a liver.co page specifically that can be kind of hard to find. So I'll have a link to it, of course, in the show notes page on uh, my website at selfmadesuccess.com. As far as reviews at Appin, 3.5 out of 5 stars, 66% would recommend working here to a friend. As far as salaries go, appin.com has, you know, a few reviews here that you can look through. Social media evaluation, which is common right now, is around $20 an hour. Search engine er evaluation is 23 to 25, somewhere in there. They say independent contractors can earn a, around $58 an hour here, but I don't know what all that includes. Ads quality rated around 24. Freelancer, 38. So if you look at just general uh, independent contractor and freelancer jobs and contractor, just those types of jobs, they say they can earn quite a bit, but the thing is sometimes you don't get as many consistent hours for these higher paying ones. It just depends on which one you do. And then last but not least is another great site for finding customer service related work from home job listings that don't require an interview. Kind of similar to Omni Interactions. Um, Arise.com is where you could find these. You would just go to find work at the top right there. And this is a company that has a lot of reviews as well if you wanted to go through them. But as far as what they have available, you see a lot of these jobs were just posted very recently. And it looks like they've updated their website a little bit as well. But they have jobs all over the world. You see Jamaica, United States. I've also seen the United Kingdom here a few times as well. And you have you know multiple pages of listings right now. But these are all just some sort of customer service. So for instance, you'll see customer service for maybe small businesses. You'll also see customer service for, for businesses you've probably heard of or seen commercials for, like for instance, TurboTax. Or you, know, you might see one for the Carnival Cruise Line, some of these larger companies. If you click on one of these, they'll tell you um, you know, when the job was published, uh, what the location is, which you want to look for anything that's virtual. And then they'll tell you what category, potential revenue per interval, which is per 30 minutes instead of per hour. So if you're alarmed by $7, no, it's not per hour, it's per 30 minutes for whatever reason. I don't know why they do that. But for this company, it's usually pretty easy to apply and you usually don't have to have the typical long process that you would need to get a full-time job elsewhere. And it's usually not going to require you to have any experience. So for this one, you would answer inbound calls for people trying to book with Carnival Cruise Line. Outbound calls as well will be included here. You'll also be transferring calls or outbound calls to other client designated internal support departments. So to succeed, they just want you to be patient, empathetic, be able to manage stress, be knowledgeable and friendly, deliver great customer service and have experience working with users to identify the best solution. But skills necessary, not very much here. And then they'll just tell you what you'll be doing, which we've already kind of covered. So their application process is very simple. They used to list it here, but I guess you can, you can go by this right here. Uh, register, which basically means you just kind of put some information about yourself in a profile, view available programs, enroll in the certification course. So that's one reason they don't necessarily need an interview process is because they actually, they get your information, they you know will make sure you're a real person and everything, but then you enroll in the certification course for each of these specific jobs. So if you wanted to do customer service for the Carnival Cruise Line, they have a course that you go through that will certify you and tell you when you are ready to start. So they have the training built in to the platform and that's why it's a little bit different and will be easier to apply and why you don't usually need experience going into it. Now, you know, you have all sorts of different options here. Like I said, for instance, you have even just like a basic remote customer support rep here. And this one you see very similar pay, the pay does actually vary it's not all going to be 450 to seven dollars uh, per 30 minutes or 14 dollars per hour i have seen some i think as high as 20 but i wouldn't i don't remember ever seeing any over 20 dollars per hour here but what's expected some of these are sales related as well place orders handle existing orders provide store specific support and then usually you don't need a lot of skills or experience to apply and they'll tell you what you're doing but most of these are some sort of customer support and sales so Arise has 3.4 out of 5 stars, 58% recommend working here to a friend, which is pretty good, pretty standard, I would say. And then, of course, you know, we've kind of been overpay. I'll show you some other 
some other reviews here as far as how much other people have earned but on average they're pretty much on par with what i've been showing you around 16 17 14 an hour um, some people claim as much as 25 an hour maybe for the sales jobs i could see that but outside of that basic customer support jobs are usually in the 15 dollars per hour range but hopefully this was helpful these are some actual active listings for work from home jobs with no interview required i thought this would maybe be helpful for people who want to start something asap and maybe get a little bit more consistent work. And if you thought this was helpful, please click the like button. It tells me what people want more of in the future and what people would like me to cover more in depth. And don't forget to leave a comment if you have a question for me or want to suggest something for the future. And I'll see you in the next video.